The fast of Daniel is the abstinence from all secular information such as media, entertainment, music and literature for 21 days with the aim of achieving something greater, the Holy Spirit. During the fast of Daniel, you will develop an intimate communion with God. But before getting to know what you should do during the fast, you must understand what you should not do. Exclude all unnecessary and superficial activities from your life, the ones that divert your focus from God. Exclude mere entertainment or distractions that add nothing to you. What should you do during the fast of Daniel? Meditate on the Word of God every day. Go to the church as often as you can during these 21 days. Have your personal moments with God at home. Pray, fast, and absorb spiritual content. Visit the UCKG's website. Follow Bishop Macedo's blog. Take part in the Fast of Daniel and observe changes in your actions and reactions. Find the answer you have been looking for for so long. The Fast of Daniel, 21 days to be disconnected from the world and connected to the Spirit of God. Hi everyone, you're joining us in the Fast of Daniel and we are on day 11. We are halfway and today is Sunday, the day of the Lord. We are reading today from the book of Haggai in chapter 2. According to the word that I covenanted with you when you came out of Egypt, so my spirit remains among you. Do not fear, for thus says the Lord of hosts, once more I will shake heaven and earth, the sea and the dry land, and I will shake all nations and they shall come to the desire of all nations. And I will fill this temple with glory, says the Lord of hosts. The silver is mine, and the gold is mine, says the Lord of hosts. The glory of this latter temple shall be greater than the former, says the Lord of hosts. And in this place, I will give peace, says the Lord of hosts. Very well. So today I want to talk about the temple. And um, we can separate it into two parts. We got the physical temple and we got the spiritual temple. The physical temple that is being described here in the book of Haggai is referring to the temple of Solomon constructed by Solomon. Later on, it was destroyed by the Babylonians who invaded Jerusalem and burned down the city and they took many of the Jewish leadership and they were exiled uh, by force. They had to leave Jerusalem and they were taken captive to Babylon. Babylon. Um, and then, as time passed, the King Cyrus of Persia, who invaded Babylon, he gave the Jewish people freedom for them to return to Jerusalem and rebuild the temple for the second time. Uh, rebuilding the temple, and, and that meant... Um, the temple was restored. That's why the scripture says here that um, the latter temple will be greater than the first. Because uh, when they rebuild the temple, they build it bigger. So they made it bigger than the original temple that was made of, made by King Solomon. Now, we understand the message here because if you take it to the spiritual side, today we are the temple of the Holy Spirit. And we can ruin and destroy 
our communion with God when we get far from God, when we get distracted and we take our eyes off the Lord and we put our eyes on the material, the physical matters in life. And that's what happened to Israel. The temple was destroyed because they were feeling overconfident. They lost their communion with God. They were focused only on the prosperity and the riches. And because financially everything was all right, they thought that they were spiritually all right. And this is a very big deceit. One of the greatest lies is for a person to think that they are spiritually well, spiritually okay, because financially they're doing well. It's possible that a person is financially doing well, they have financial prosperity, but on the inside, spiritually, they are in ruins. They are destroyed. They are like the temple that was destroyed and that needs to be rebuilt. So this word is prophetic because it happens. And at the same time, it's... It talks about bad news because the temple was destroyed, but it also talks about good news because the temple was rebuilt. So this is also a message for our spiritual life. If you have slipped up, if you have committed errors, if you have broken your communion with God, ruined your relationship with God because of wrong choices, and perhaps you are now spiritually stuck. You feel that the connection with God isn't good. Somehow you feel that you are not prospering spiritually like before. Maybe you have taken your eyes off the Word of God or you have taken your eyes off the altar. You have taken your eyes off the Lord and you've been focusing a lot your energy on work and family and your hobbies, etc. In short, your spiritual life has been compromised. The good news is, God wants to rebuild you. You can use the 21 day fast of Daniel to rebuild your relationship with God so that He can bring back that peace inside of you, the peace that you're longing for. And you can start that immediately. Don't forget that God himself, he reminded the people, and he's reminding you this morning, exactly what's written here. So my spirit remains among you. That's a promise. God's spirit has not left you. You may not feel great spiritually, or maybe you even feel awful, terrible spiritually. But the good news is that God's Spirit has not left you. He remains among you. He remains among us. But it's not enough for Him to remain among us. He must come inside of us and stay within us. And you have this opportunity even today for you to experience a spiritual restoration and to be rebuilt from the inside out, restoring the peace and receiving the Holy Spirit inside of you. Today, Sunday, we have our special meetings in Tagalog, 7 a.m., Cantonese, 10.30 a.m., in English, 9 a.m. and 11 a.m. It will be the Sunday of God's exaltation. And there's no better way for God to exalt us and lift us up than by renewing His Spirit inside of us. So no matter who you are, no matter what has happened in the past, because the future is going to be better than your past if your future is in the hands of God. And if you walk with God in the future, right? So... For more information, scan the QR code. Find your way here to the Help Center. This is the address in Kowloon. And you can join us again tomorrow in our 
meditation here for the 21 day fast of Daniel all the way until December or better July 31 okay I'm fast forwarding too fast July 31 is the conclusion of the fast of Daniel with the Lord's Supper the Holy Communion on a Wednesday okay look forward to that pin it down in your agenda and looking forward to have you here in one of our live services at the Help Center. May the God of the Bible bless you powerfully and abundantly. Okay? Join us again tomorrow. God bless you all. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.